And that's when other affiliates start complaining is they, they realize, oh, so-and-so has a, a competitive advantage against us. And it's like, yeah, duh, that's, that's how you win. You know, that's how you win any competition in life is you create unfair competitive advantages. And I'm coming from, like, I think that that should be um, – not, not endorsed, but enthused, you know, like we should, you know, have more of that than punish people who are creating that. So one of my common methods that I've been using for years, and I didn't invent it, um, I learned it from Andre Chaperone. Uh, he, you know, I'm, I'm not going to try and be politically correct. You know, I don't necessarily mean the words that they come out, but like, you know, we try to create a flaw in the product every product has a flaw. There is no perfection. So it's not like we're trying to create lies. We're not trying to make up anything or anything like that. We just, you know, for example, one product that I was promoting, I said the flaw of it was that it's, it's too big. It, it, I mean, it literally takes you two weeks to go through all these modules, all these videos. It's 20 hours of content, but what do you, you, know, you need a plan for what are you going to do tomorrow? And so that's the flaw that I created in the product. And then I made my bonus was here's this, this summary. You know, you're going to be, if you buy through my link, you're going to be able to get this overnight action plan so that you have something to do in the short term to start making some wins. And then you still have the course for those long-term wins. And so this is what I mean about creating advantages over other people. And so now, you know, when I say, when I, when I spread that message, if you buy the product through anybody else, you're kind of buying a broken product, you know, because I've just pointed out a big flaw in the product. And, and that's just a, a tiny example, but there's been other ones. Um, well, that's what I try to do. That's one example. You know, another example is, you know, getting permission to use certain people's photos in my ads, because that's a lot of, another thing. I don't have big giant lists. I don't really believe in big giant lists. I believe in lead quality over lead quantity. And so sometimes in order to compete with guys who have 300,000 email subscribers, I've got to buy ads. And when I'm buying ads, I need to have as much advantage as I can. And so having certain images in my ads, having people's photos in my ads, uh, you know, I remember in, in one campaign, I don't want to name names, but like in one campaign, there was this thought leader, you know, like one of the biggest names in marketing. It was a marketing course launch and we were able to run our ads with this guy's image and typically nobody else would be able to do that. Like you, his lawyers would call you if you used his image, but we got legit permission because we were friends with this guy. And so all the other affiliates started complaining that that was an advantage, that that's unfair and so we got shut down. You know, we're killing it in the launch. We're making sales on sales on sales, but we get shut down. And I just, I, I get that there's a, there, at some point there needs to be some rules. I'm, I'm down for the rules, but I also think we gotta be real careful about when we create these rules.